What's going on, peeps? We got sign doors in the building. What's going on, Cuzzo? Alright, let's see, let's see. What we doing today? Hashtag CandleCompany.com. What's going on with you? Thank you so much for coming to the live. We got Nicole in the in the in the, in the house. <laughs> did y'all did y'all hear my rap? <laughs> All right, I ain't, gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it to him. You know, I'm just gonna stick with making socks. We got Shine in the building. What's going on, Shine? Thank you so much for coming to the live, peeps. Happy Monday. All right, what we doing here? I got everything out? Nope. Let's get into that thing, because we about to get this thing started. Let me get my artwork. Yeah, no. Got to get my artwork popping off. Uh, Let me see. <laughs> uh, Sean said I look so bright today. You know, I got the O. You know, I got the Mickey socks. Y'all probably can't see it. Let me try to turn it this way. Hey! <laughs> What's going on with you? You know, I'm bright today. Uh, Sue said, I made I made it at the start of the day. Come on, Sue, from the UK. That's what I'm talking about. You know, Sue said, I ain't going to be late today. It's Monday. You know, we got T-Rez up in here. What's going on, T-Rez? Thank you guys so much for coming to the live uh, let me see. Let me see. Um, <laughs> Latasha Butler up in here. What's going on with you? Uh, t Red said you sharp as a number two pencil. Let's go. <laughs> and SAT time. Let's go. You know, that's all I'm saying. Thank you so much for that. Let me see. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I'm going to just say uh, one of one customs. Thank you so much for uh, for the follow. I appreciate you. I can't get that first part. Uh, let me see. Cuz3123, uh, three, three. thank you so much for the follow. Where we at? Where we at? I appreciate you guys being here. You know? Chino Music said, let's get it. What's up, bro? No problem. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, what's going on with you, bro? Thank you so much for coming to the live. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, what is that? La Latasha Marks. Thank you so much for coming to the live. Thank you for, uh, the follow. I appreciate you. Yaya Craft. Thank you so much for uh, coming to the live and for being a number one viewer. Got to clap it up for that. All right, we're going to get into that thing, you know? So what we're going to do today is this SpongeBob pattern. All right, I got to show you that before I flip that, uh, before I mirror that screen. All right, so let me mirror it here. And we're going to get into this thing. All right. Let me see. Let me see. All right. We should be good to go. Um, If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Mr. Socks. I'm going to teach you guys how to print custom sublimation socks. So let's get into that thing. First off, if you're not a subscriber on YouTube, make sure you go to YouTube. Uh, you can put in Mr. Socks and I'll come right up on your TV or your iPad, wherever it is, you'll see my face like, cling, you know, <laughs> that's, that's what's going to come up when you see me, cling, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, so thank you so much, um, then we also have our Procreate classes, our next one starts, uh, September 7th, I believe that's next Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> <laughs> next Wednesday so if you want to get into the procreate class make sure you get into that bad boy right now it's a donation based class there is no set price it's whatever you can afford that's what will get you what will get you in the class for the next five weeks all right so thank you so much uh, for everybody who's inquiring for everybody who got into the class already I'll see you guys next Wednesday and that's thing that thing gonna be lit all right um, 42 and O Enterprise says, do you ever do a uh, whole socks? Um, is that a different process? I'll be green. Thank you so much for the subscribe, uh, for the, uh, for subscribing. I see you. That thing come right up on that thing, you know? 
Um, so 42 and no, this is our full length sock. Uh, we have a course for this um, on the website. All right, so this is what our full length sock looks like. Uh, this was a white sock originally. Actually, uh, this is how it looked. This is actually uh, the gilding. All right, so we pressed the whole sock and now we have a full color sock instead of the, the half length. All right, so yes, we do have uh, that as well. All right, and we do teach that uh, that as well. All right, uh, let me see. Let me see. Where are we at? Uh, Sue said, uh, SpongeBob uh, is square word on there. He is. He a little, little, a little, little. <laughs> uh, so here we go here and then over here. All right. So we got him up in that thing. All right. So we're going to get started. I'm going to show you guys what I use as far as my materials. And then I'll show you what my process is and how I get my seamless socks to look like uh, crispiness, you know. So let's get into that. First off, we have our sublimation socks. They're not really sublimation socks. They're more polyester, um, but they're used for sublimation. Uh, so this is by Gildan. Uh, let me take this lint off right here. All right. So this is by Gildan. Um, you can get this from Amazon. Um, it's 12, 12 pair for $17.99. Um, I have a link for, uh, for this in my bio and for anything else that I'm discussing. All right. We also have our sock jig. This is what we use uh, to stabilize our sock as well as to stretch it out so that we can get that crisp color and that crisp uh, uh, design on our sock. We don't want to have it to where we're using uh, too small of a jig and then we uh, go to put it on our leg and then it stretches out our design. We don't want that. All right. We want it to make we want to make sure that it's crisp and the colors stay uh, vibrant like it does on um, on the heat on a sock jig. All right. So we have that. We're also going to use alcohol here uh, to um, clean off our sock jig. All right. We're going to need heat tape uh, with this uh, method. We're not going to just press uh, our design on our sock, flip that boy, you know, and then roll our edges. We're not doing none of that. We're going to do it a different way. So just stick with me. All right. So we got that. The next thing we're going to use is aluminum foil. I know y'all like Mr. Socks. What are we doing with aluminum foil? But I'm going to show y'all. Make sure y'all stay tuned for that. All right. And then by the end of the live, we're going to give away uh, this design to six people. So if you're interested, uh, make sure you stay to the end of the live. We're going to pick six people so that we can give this design away. All right. Now, if you don't want to design, make sure you go to the YouTube channel, subscribe, and then you will automatically win uh, the design. All right. So just all you got to do is screenshot that bad boy. Send it to me via email, and then I'll send you the design. All right. Uh, let me see if my moderator's in this thing. We got oh, we got Tiff in this thing. What's going on, Tiff? We got Miss Tish in here. Uh, we got Adele in the building. What's going on with you, Adele? Thank you so much for coming to the live. Um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, let me see. T Rez, thank you so much for sharing the live. Uh, Janine, thank you for the follow. Izzy, thank you for the follow. Monica, thank you for the follow. Corey, thank you for the follow. Mika, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you, and thank you for sharing the live. All right, so let's get into it. We're going to point you guys down here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, now, to start off, we're going to clean off our sock jig. So let's do that here. We're just going to spray up our uh, microfiber cloth here with the alcohol. And then we're just going to wipe down our sock jig. We just want to make sure that we get all of the ink residue um, from off of the sock jig. We don't want to print that on our next sock. All right. So let me spray this bad boy again. All right. So we're going to clean this off here on both sides. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to load our sock onto the sock jig. So let's do that here. So we're just going to stretch it out. Slide it onto the sock jig, and we're just going to make sure that it's straight here. All right, we don't want any zigzags in our lines. You see how this looks? We don't print like this. All right, we want to make sure that everything is clean. We want to make sure that the lines are straight. We don't want any zigzags. So let's do that here. We're just going to roll our edges. Now this is the only ro rolling of the edges we're going to do. All right, but we again we just want to make sure that our lines are straight. So let's do that here. All right, so we have that. So this is how it should look. 
Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just don't want the zigzag to kind of go from uh, one side of the sock to the other. So let's do our next one here. All right. We're going to slide it onto the sock jig. Straighten it out. Make sure that our lines are straight at the top and the bottom. Uh, we got Monica up in here. Uh, say hello, Mr. Socks. What's going on with you? Um, Izzy said, uh, what does the stretch... What does that stretch uh, the sock for the customer? Um, yeah, so it does a stretch it for the customer. Um, it, it, it also makes uh, make sure that your uh, your design, once you put it on your leg or your customer's leg, um, that it's still the colors will still be vibrant, right? You don't want you don't want to put it on your leg and it's it's so stretched out that the the image is distorted. You don't want that. All right. Uh, so we do crisp images here. Um, none of that uh, stretched out. Can't see what's going on. Uh, type of type of deal. All right, so we got that for both sides. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, lint roll our sock here. All right, so let's lint roll it up. We're going to do this one as well. We want to make sure we lint roll it. We don't want any of the lint that we can't see to show up on our uh, on our sock later on once we press it. All right, so this step is really important. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare our artwork. So let's do that. So I'm going to move you guys back a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing here. All right. This thing a little a little wonky. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Still get used to this. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to cut off this white space here. We don't need it. All right. So we're going to use that. Um our paper cutter here to cut off that white space so let me move it over so you guys can see all right so we just want to make sure that the paper is lined up so that we we know that we're cutting in the same spot on on, on both uh, sheets of the paper here we're just going to drag that bad boy down and now we have this white space uh off now we can begin to wrap our sock here all right so let's take off this one and then we'll wrap it and then we'll wrap the next one all right, um, Lolly, uh, what is that? Lolly Tog said, "Do you uh, do you know a supplier for uh, for kids socks?" Um, I'm glad you said that. I actually um, I'm actually going to work on a YouTube channel uh, for doing kids socks, um, and I might even put it on a channel that I have already. Uh, but you know, we'll see. So these are the socks that I got from um, from Walmart. So they're by Athletic Works. Um, let me see the percentage. They're 64% polyester and 30% uh, recycled polyester. All right. So the recycled po polyester is really good uh, for socks just because it makes the fabric feel a lot softer than just regular polyester. All right. So uh, anything you see that says recycled polyester, you know, you're good to go. You'll still get a good print. All right. Um, this comes in uh, a 10 pack um, and I think it was about $7 or so. Um, so if you're looking for a supplier, you may not be able to find it like on Amazon or anywhere else. Um, make sure you check uh, Walmart because you can get it for the low low. All right. So we got that. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, sit this in the middle here. All right. Once we sit it in the middle, uh, we're going to fold it here. Right. So we're going to fold it and we're going to fold it again. All right. So we're just going to overlap it here and then we're going to make sure that the top uh, both sides of the paper are lined up evenly all right so we have that then we're going to tape it up here so we're going to tape the top tape the middle and then we're going to line up the bottom as well and then tape the bottom all right then we're going to do our fillers here we're just going to fill in uh the tape where we didn't tape at all right and then we're going to tape up our seam here right so it looks like a lot of tape um, but it's really important because when you press it up at heavy pressures you don't want any shifting right so shifting means um, that you're going to have ghosting um, and we don't do ghosting we want to make sure that our images are crisp um, we don't want to see any like uh, double prints or uh, ex uh, double exposures if you know anything about uh, photography you don't want any like double exposure so uh, this will be uh, the, the right way to go use as much as as much tape as you uh, have to to make sure that it, it won't shift all right so this is how it should look we tape it to the sock jig on both sides all right so let's do our next one and then I'll get to more questions 
Um, let me see. Let me see. Joy Young said, um, are you using uh, copy paper? I am using copy paper. Um, it's by Hammer Mill, like uh, Tiff said below you. All right. So thank you so much for for the asking the questions. Feel free to throw them back in the chat if I uh, missed it. Um, and then if I can't get to you, then my moderator as well. All right. So we're going to tape it up here. Go down to the bottom. Make sure that it's even. And we're going to tape it up there. Then we're going to do our fillers where we don't have tape. Then we're going to tape up our seam here. Now, if you want to learn how to make these socks from beginning to end, um, then make sure you get the uh, the link. Uh, go to the link in the bio and get the sock course. All right. It'll teach you everything that I can't teach you here um, on this live. All right. So this is kind of like a HSN type of uh, demo. You know? All right. So we're going to tape it to both sides here. This is how it should look. All right. Now, uh, let's get to the questions um, to see if you guys um, are with me. All right, and then we're going to wrap this bad boy up and press it up. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, Ali said, do you make customs? I don't make customs too much. Um, if somebody contact me and want me to uh, print them personally, then I will do it. Um, but I don't sell them on my website or anything anymore. I, I'm just really into uh, teaching you guys how to do it, not really um, selling you know, the socks and shipping them out and things like that. But again... If you contact me and you want me to do it personally, then I will uh, definitely do that for you guys. Uh, but you would have to send me an email um, so that we can kind of figure out uh, everything. Um, let me see. What is that? Uh, a line said, uh, where do you get that, that thing uh, to stretch the sock? So this is called a sock jig. You can get it from Amazon. Um, I have a link in my bio for it. Um, and you can get you know the same exact one this is a four and a half inch uh sock jig and they also have uh smaller ones that i use for for kids all right uh cam thank you so much for the uh the follow i appreciate you uh ina said uh hey good to see you on thank you so much for being here i appreciate you um let me see bob said where do you get um the sock metal forms uh from um amazon um i have a link in my bio for that all right uh, E Loyal said, um, just regular hammer mill, not sub paper. Nope, it's not sub paper, it's regular copy paper. Um, it's a 32 pound paper, it's kind of like a uh, a post, it feels like a poster paper. Um, but it's not, I used to use the 20 pound paper, but once we found a poster paper, we was like, you know, just kind of testing it out, and it works great. It actually feels like uh, the sublimation paper, uh, and it works uh, perfectly. All right, so if you uh, run it low on sub paper, or you kind of just want a cheaper alternative, make sure don't 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 sleep on a hammer mill because that thing gonna change your life. You know? Uh, let me see, Corey. Thank you so much for the follow, Renee. Thank you for the follow. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, where we at? Mika said, uh, thanks. You have answered my question. No problem. Thank you so much for being here. Happy Monday, peeps. You know, sometimes I gotta, I forget what the day is, but I gotta say it to you. We got Ash in the building. What's going on, Ash? I see you. You know, so what we're going to do here, let me just move this over so I can see what I'm doing. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use our aluminum foil, right? I know y'all like Mr. Socks. What we doing with aluminum foil? We're not making chicken. We're not make, making cornbread. We're not even making the, the little uh, <laughs> the little seafood corns. <laughs> Y'all know how you wrap up the seafood corns and you bake that thing. Don't worry about that. All right, we're not even doing that. What are we doing with this aluminum foil, right? So what we're going to do with the aluminum foil is we're going to allow the aluminum foil to do our, all our heavy lifting, right? We want to make sure that we can get to our seams, right? Because if we press it just like this, we press it here, flip it over, press it again, we will not be able to uh, uh, target our seams here, right? That's the name of the game when we're talking about crispy socks, right? We want to make sure that we can um, extract the ink from our seams as well. The, the alumina foil will do that for us, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to place it face down and we're going to fold that bad boy over, right? So once we fold it over, that'll take care of this side of the seam. I choose you or I choose me. Thank you so much for the, uh, for the, subs, uh, for the sub. I appreciate you on YouTube. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to flip it behind the sock jig, cuff it behind to take care of this side of the seam. 
all right and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to slightly pull towards us so that we can create that snug fit right because that snug fit is going to be another way that we get our tight our uh, nice crispy seams here all right so let's do that here so we're just going to tape it up so that we can tape it in place and we're going to do that all the way down the sock here all right uh let me see we got 600 people up in here what's going on with y'all thank you so much for coming to the live i appreciate y'all we printing uh custom sublimation socks right now uh we're doing spongebob so if you want to see the reveal make sure you stay tuned all right so we taped that bad boy up now we're going to tape it to the sock jig here flip it over tape it again all right now we're going to do something we call our rub test right so the rub test is just to make sure that we have our aluminum foil uh tightly wrapped around our sock right so we're just going to do our rub test here if we don't hear anything um, if we don't hear anything that sounds like aluminum foil, we know we're good to go, right? So we're just going to rub it here. We don't hear anything. We know we're good. Now we can move on to the next one. All right, so let's wrap up our next one here. All right. If you guys want to learn how to use Procreate, I know um, Photoshop is like this huge thing and nobody can really get it, but Procreate is the next, next best thing. So if you want to learn how to use Procreate or incorporate it into your uh, your sublimation business or your crafting business, make sure you go to the link in the bio and sign up. That thing is commission based. I mean, a commission based, <laughs> donation based. Uh, so if you guys are interested, there's no set price. It's whatever you can afford for the class, and it's five weeks. All right. So we fold it up here. We take care of this side of the seam. We're going to cuff it behind. All right. And then we're going to pull it slightly. All right. To create that snug fit there. And then we're going to tape it in place. All right, let's do that all the way down the sock one more time. All right, so we got that. Let's do that all the way down. And this last one, don't go hawk mode on them. You don't want to tear the aluminum for you or you're going to have to start over. So just finesse that thing, but don't put too much pressure on it. All right, we're going to tape it to the sock jig on both sides. We're going to do our rub test here. We don't hear anything. We know we're good to go. Now we can press that bad boy up. I see y'all getting uh, re registering for that um, that Procreate class. I appreciate y'all. All right. We get we getting the whole team together. We got a team so we can do registration, you know, to get y'all get y'all your materials. So, you know, we, we, we making moves. We making moves in this thing. That's all I'm saying. Thank you for the 1.7K likes. I appreciate y'all. Uh, so let me see if y'all got questions. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, where we at? Where we at? um will said uh or excuse me nemo said will this method uh work on uh shirts yes it absolutely does i don't have any sublimation shirts up here i actually just washed them but yes i do use it Th twin thank you so much for the gifts i appreciate you um yes i do use it on uh cu custom shirts as well i use it on um the the compression pants that we uh shorts that we do i use it on uh pillows i use it for everything so it's not just for um the socks is used for you know my fan band music for tumblers as well so get into that thing you yeah, know that's all i'm saying get into that thing um Juanetta, th uh what is it Juanetta, thank you so much for for the follow charisma thank you for the follow cassie thank you for the follow i appreciate you uh ginger said um fyp glad i saw you thank you so much for being here guys i appreciate y'all uh let me see let me see uh creative arts by bubble said first beginning um advice um, I would say if you're beginning not, or beginning, um, and you're, you have all your equipment and everything, I would say, uh, go in, uh, go ham, you know, be consistent, um, and, and get on TikTok, right? Get on TikTok. Then once you do TikTok, go to Facebook. Once you do Fed Conquer Facebook, then you go to YouTube. All right. So in that order, um, you want to make sure that TikTok is your most important platform um, because you have so many eyes on TikTok right now. It's easy for you to kind of push your business, um, you know, uh, ahead without uh, putting too much effort into it. All right. So uh, consistency is so key and make sure that you have a good product and your customer service is good. That's all I can say. Um, but good luck with everything. If you guys need help, feel free. Uh, my emails are always open. I can answer questions. Um, you just got to contact me and, and actually ask for the information. All right. Sure. Now, thank you so much for the roses. I appreciate you. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to um, let's press up this bad boy. All right. So we're at 400 degrees right here. 
for 60 seconds, all right? Please, guys, please make sure that you learn your heat press, right? You don't want to press this up at light pressure. You don't want to press it up at medium pressure. Uh, pressure. You want to press it up at heavy pressure. Now, this is no shade. <laughs> Come on, somebody. This is no shade, right? You want to make sure that you don't break your heat press. Don't put so much pressure on that thing where you're breaking your heat press or you're breaking your equipment, right? Just get to know your heat press so that you'll know what's light, what's medium, and what's heavy pressure, all right? If you're pushing it down too much where you feel like it's causing damage, stop that thing, dial it back, all right, and then press it up. You might even have to do like a trial and error between your medium and your heavy pressure and see what, you know, where your sweet, sweet spot is, all right? So that's just a disclaimer. All right, so what we're going to do here, we're going to, again, press it up 400 degrees for 60 seconds at heavy pressure. We have our Teflon sheet here, all right, that's acting as a barrier between the heat press and the sock. So we're going to press this bad boy up here, all right, for about 60 seconds. Sorry, guys, that was my, uh, my iPad. All right, so let me see. Let me see if you guys have questions. Let's see, let's see. Um, KP said, why, uh, why foil on a sock? So you want to make sure that you add foil to the sock so that it can target your seams, right? Because you don't want to press that bad boy and then have to roll your edges. We don't do that in 2022. Come on, somebody. We don't do that in 2022, right? We let the, the aluminum foil do all the heavy work for us, right? We don't do any like, you know, rolling it and all that. That's too much work, right? We just wrap that bad boy up press it flip it press that bad boy again and let it cool right you it'll be so crispy once you get done right so we don't do none of that burning our fingertips and all that extra stuff uh when we're printing socks all right so this is the new way to print socks stop with that <laughs> stop with that old way it's not the way to go you know it's not the way to go so what we're gonna do here right is we're going to smack it up, flip it, rub it down. All right, so that's just Mr. Socks talk for flip that bad boy. So we're going to flip it here, all right, and then we're going to press it up again. All right, super simple, super easy. The only um, work you're really going to be putting into this is just wrapping your sock. And I would recommend that instead of, um, you know, wrapping it and then pressing it, I would just wrap all the socks that you want to wrap uh, or that you want to press up, wrap them all first, and then press them all at the same time. It'll, like you know uh, uh put some speed on your on your workflow all right uh let me see let me see thank you guys so much for being here uh i can't get to all the comments so my moderator is, is in here trying to answer all your questions i'm not ignoring you guys these comments is just flooding in so i appreciate you guys being here uh let me see um where we at where we at <laughs> two said flip them socks let's go <laughs> let's go um glam glam said uh which brand socks do you recommend um so i recommend sure no thank you so much for the gifts i recommend my top three is gildan uh adidas and uh calvin klein right um i also have some other ones you can do uh reebok uh what's the other ones you can do um reebok i think that's pretty much it um for you could try calvin klein but you know Again, it's up to you. And a lot of those socks you can get from um, from Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, Gildan. It, you can get from uh, from Amazon. Again, I have a link in my bio for that. Um, but I can't find a Gildan anywhere else besides uh, Amazon. All right. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to uh, take this off and we're going to just let it cool. Right. You don't want to go just ripping the paper off of your uh, socks. Right. You want to let that thing cool down to room temperature. And you want to let the, the ink cure, right? Don't go Christmas mode. <laughs> Don't be super impatient where you start to rip that bad boy off. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let it let it sit. Let it come down. Like the temperature come down. Let it cure on the sock. Let it dry properly, right? Once it comes down, you can even throw that thing in front of the, the fan, the air conditioner, some of my fan pan. <laughs> some of my fan band put it in the freezer. You know, whatever you got to do is fine. Just don't go Christmas mode and just tearing the paper off. You don't want that. You want to make sure that the, all the hard work that you put into it, you can get the hard work when you, you know, go to your pill, right? 
So let me let me see. Let me see. Let me turn this off because it's a little hot in this thing. Let me see. Um, where we at? Where we at? Uh, uh, let me see. I'm trying to look for questions here. Uh, Janine, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Uh, Kim, thank you for the follow. Jasmine, thank you for the follow. Um, Bob said, uh, what was the temp and time again? It's 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Heavy pressure. All right. If you can't, if you don't know what the heavy pressure is, Brianna, thank you so much. Uh, what is that? Uh, or Brina, sorry. Thank you so much for the gifts. Um, if you don't know what your heavy pressure is, just test it, right? Go from medium to, uh, to your, your heavy, uh, Crystal, thank you so much for the gifts. Go from medium to the, to the heavy, and then you just kind of test it from there. Just keep like turning that knob or, you know, however you do your pressure and see where you, you know, where your sweet spot is, but don't just go straight to heavy pressure if you don't really know what your, you know, how your heat press uh, will react. All right. Uh, princess, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Crystal said, uh, what sublimation paper do you use? I don't use sublimation paper. I use a uh, hammer mill, which is a copy paper, a uh, regular copy paper, and it's uh, 32 pound. All right. Uh, let me see. Uh, what is that? Dottie? I'm sorry if I'm butchering that thing. Thank you so much for, for the gifts. I appreciate you. Uh, we got Gizzy in the building. What's going on, Gizzy? Gizzy said, um, how do you set the palette colors? Um, if you're talking about on Procreate, um, you can do a lot of things with Procreate, right? You can go to your... Um, Go to Google. You can find whatever color uh, palette you want. Let's say you find uh, a, a color with, you know, uh, a, a beach, right? And they got all these different, you know, different colors in there with the sunset. You can actually drag or save uh, that picture and bring it into Procreate so that you can create a palette with, you know, out of that, out of that picture. All right. So there's a lot of things that you can do uh, with the color palettes. You can also make your own. Um, so again, you have to send me a message, Gizzy, so we can kind of get into that. All right. Uh, speaking of Procreate, if you guys are interested, make sure you go to the link in the bio, uh, so that you can get into the next class, which is September 7th. Um, it's a donation base. We're not trying to break your pockets. There is no set price. It's just whatever you can afford for the class. That's what you'll get in. Uh, that's how you'll get in for the five weeks. All right. I did see somebody, um, actually, uh, pay for the class already. Let me see. Um, Anchor by Faith Homeschool. Thank you so much for getting to the class. You will be in that thing um, September 7th. Uh, so I'll see you then. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me see. We're about to get into this pill. Um, Sublimation Paper and Ink said, uh, I need to learn Procreate. I want to learn. Make sure you get into that thing. Go to the link in the bio. Send your information. There's also a way to get instant access. Um, it'll say Procreate. Um, instant access uh, PayPal or Procreate instant access uh, uh, cash app and you can send your donation there and you'll get right into the class and I won't have to actually send you an email with information all right so if you want to get into it right away you don't want to have to wait for me or my team to send you a registration email then make sure you use that option and you'll get right in that thing all right so let's get into this let's get into this thing hold on let me adjust my thing because we about to get into it. Ho, ho, ho. Hold on. I got to get used to this little holder thing that we got going on because it's, it's a little sketchy. Hold on, peeps. All right. There we go. There we go. Hold on. All right. <laughs> I got to get used to this thing. Hold on. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to get into this pill. All right. Can I get a drum roll out this thing? <laughs> Look, Brina said it's Christmas time. Let's go, Brina. <laughs> Let's go. It's Christmas time out these parts. You know, I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> Don't call me Mr. Sauce. Call me Santa Claus. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You know, uh, Dottie, thank you so much for the roses. I appreciate you, my love. We got Cat in the building. What's going on, Cat? You know, I see Tish up in this thing. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Creative Arts by Bubble said, can I use the Epson EcoTank 2800? Absolutely. Anything um, Epson, uh, Epson EcoTank, you can use whatever series that is. All right. So we're going to get into this pill. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> sure now. Come on. Sure now. <laughs> come on. You know, that's all I'm saying. Somebody give me a... Uh, 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 Christmas, uh, uh, Santa Claus had the same Mr. Socks on that thing. You know? Alright, so we got that bake-through look. Oh my god, this thing about to be insane. Hold on. 
I don't think y'all ready for this. So we got that baked through look on both sides, courtesy of the foil paper. All right. So let's get into that thing. Let's get into that thing. Somebody else paid for the class. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, look. Oh, my. I ain't gonna be able to do that. Oh, my God. So somebody, somebody that told y'all wrong. I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. Oh, my God. Somebody done told y'all wrong. <laughs> Come on, bro. What in the world? Who done did? Who done did it, bro? Oh my God, Mr. Sasha did it again. I ain't gonna ever do that thing. Oh Lord, check out the. Oh my God, check out the seams, though. Oh Lord, I ain't gonna ever do that thing. I ain't gonna ever do that thing. Oh my God, check out why that thing so crispy why is that thing so come on sue <laughs> come on sue you see that thing oh my god that thing is so that thing too hot to touch i ain't gonna be able to do it i ain't gonna be able to do that thing oh lord what why they do it like that come on mr socks why you do it like that come on hold on we got the we got the three we got the 360 that bad boy <laughs> we got the 360 that bad bad boy because Y'all think it's a flu got these parts. Hold on. Let's get into it. Oh, that's a seam. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. They done. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Let me. Now, we're going to stretch that bad boy out, right? But we're going to do it with our pinky, right? Because y'all be saying, oh, Mr. Sex. Mr. Sox be stretching that thing, right? His results, not his results. <laughs> this on period. <laughs> The girls told me to say this on period. You know, hold on, let's get into it. We got to do it with the pinkies. Oh my god! Now, let, hold up, hold up now. I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. That's on period. <laughs> the girls told me, <laughs> my prima told me to talk. That's on period. You know? Oh my god, that thing's so crispy. That's a three sixty. Oh, that's a three sixty right there. I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. Sue said put it on the tumbler. <laughs> Hold on. Sue said put that bad boy on the tumbler. Let me see. Because y'all think it's a fluke out of these parts. Y'all think it's a fluke. Hold on. Oh, is that a seam? <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, is that a seam? <laughs> oh, my God. That thing's so, oh, that thing's so crispy. I ain't gonna be able to do it. I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. Brina, thank you so much for the gifts. I appreciate you. Hold on. Bob, thank you so much for the gifts. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see what y'all talking about. Y'all think it's a fluke out of these parts. Hold on. Uh, let me see. Uh, <laughs> Court said, did you have to get a license to use that? Uh, <laughs> to use what? <laughs> to use what? Well, all right. Let me just say this. Let me say this. I know what you're talking about. So you're talking about the images, right? I don't sell my images. Let me just say that, right? I don't sell my images. If you want to make socks do you need to make socks that are custom socks right do not just put these like characters on your uh on your website or whatever you're doing please don't right you're going to say i make custom socks whatever my customers ask for that's what i'm going to make right we're not going to do this on a day-to-day -day basis y'all tell me what y'all want i'll make it period all right that's on period <laughs> that, that's what i'm start saying that's what I'm going to start saying. That's on period, you know? Um, Alain said, uh, out to buy socks for my for my boy. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I like to hear. You know, Brittany, thank you so much for the follow. Let me see. Let me see. Um, su successful mindset. So you did that, King. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Ginger said, um, can you sublimate on black fabric? Absolutely not. It is not going to show up for you, all right? Please don't sublimate on... Anything other than light, uh, heather, uh, or white um, uh, colors or fabric, all right? Let me see. <laughs> Tiff saying that's on period. <laughs> Come on. Let's get into this second one because y'all think it's a flute. Y'all think it was a one-time shot. Yeah, now hold on. Let's see. We're going to get into that thing. Hold on. Oh, my God. Mr. Socks done did it again. Oh, Lord. Come on, somebody. Oh my god. Why Mr. Sox do 
I ain't gonna be able to do that thing. Let you where the seam at in the back? Can I <laughs> where the seam at in the back, y'all? That's all I'm saying. That look like it look like a 360 to me. That's all I'm saying, bro. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you no. Know? Corey said, dude, you cold with it. You know? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, my man. That's what I'm saying. Hold on. Uh <laughs> let me see. Nicole said, ain't no flukes on here. Ain't no flukes on here. That's all I'm saying. Hold on. Uh, uh, MWC said, uh, Santa out here stunting. <laughs> Come on, my man. You see me. <laughs> you see me. You know? Broski, you see me. That's all I'm saying. Sure now, thank you so much for the gifts. I appreciate you, my love. Brina said, that's on period. <laughs> she said, that's on period. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh, uh, let me see. Sue said, uh, the best and most energetic teacher <laughs> live around. Let's go. Learning and having fun. That's what I'm about. Let's give away this design. Can we get into that thing? Can we get into the design here? Let's get that thing away because I need y'all to be printing these bad boys. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Hold on. Let me show y'all what, what somebody did. Hold on. Because they, they killed that thing. They killed that thing. We're going to get into it. Hold on. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I don't even know if it's still up. Hold up. I ain't going to be able to find it. I ain't going to be able to find it. Hold on. Let me go back to TikTok. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Because they made a whole, like, a whole get up out that thing. You know? A whole get up. I ain't gonna be able to find that thing. Hold on, let me go back to my what's the name? Cause y'all think it's a flute. We got to see we got to see this on every page on TikTok. You know, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Oh y'all done y'all done ran it up. Y'all done ran that thing up. Hold up. Where we at? The mentions. We're going to get into that bad boy. Where is that? Look at that. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Check it out. This is what we talking about out these parts. Come, Come on. You got to clap it up for that thing. You got to clap it up. That's all I'm saying. All right, we're going to get into this. <laughs> we're going to get into this giveaway. That's all I'm saying. Miss Melissa said, um, they made Snoopy right. I seen it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Um, Dottie said, how many weeks is the class? So the class is five weeks. Um, you only pay one time. Your don donation will stretch you through all five weeks. All right. One time. All right. So we're going to do, uh, let me do, a uh, put square pants. If you want to win this design, put square pants in the comments so we can get you this design. We're going to send it to your email today right so make sure y'all send me an email if y'all win this bad boy go to my link in the bio and go to email me it'll say email me once you go to there you'll say mr socks i won and i'll send you the file today all right now if you don't win make sure you go to my youtube channel and subscribe to your boy and then send me a screenshot and i'll send you the design as well all right so you're an instant winner all right let me see let me get into that thing let me see, let me see. T Rez is number one. Uh Yolanda is number two. Miss Melissa is number three. Nicole is number four. We got Sue at number five. We got Jacqueline at number six. Uh let me see. DF uh DC Fluffy at number seven. And we got Creative Arts at number eight. So those are our eight winners. Make sure y'all contact me. Go to the link in the bio. It'll say email me and say once you get there. Email me and say, Mr. Sox, I won, and I will send you this file today. All right? Again, if you did not win and you want this design, make sure you go to my YouTube channel, subscribe to your boy, send me a screenshot of that bad boy, and I will send you the design as well. All right? So I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for being here. Y'all are absolutely amazing. I want y'all to understand that whatever y'all want to do, y'all can absolutely do it. You just got to believe in yourself. Believe in you, how I believe in you, and you'll get to the promised land. You know? That's all I'm saying. It just takes a little bit of 
of hard work, a little bit of consistency, and just believe in yourself. All right? So, Tiff, thank you so much for that. Like I always say, never sit in your fears. Get your mad truck and plow through that thing. I love y'all. Peace.